a yeah, reasonable bit of technical stuff thrown in a bit later. Um, and either this will speak to you from the point of view of reinforcing a perspective that perhaps um, testing, unit testing in particular, is um, something that you want to motivate yourself to do, or it reinforces the fact you are already doing it. Um, perhaps it will answer a couple of questions that are unclear, a couple of doubts in your mind. Um, it may also provide you with a couple of insights um, in terms of well, history, technique, uh, and um, points to make to other people. Um, people are often, often find themselves in discussions, technical discussions about practices, uh, where they find themselves trying to explain to somebody else who's coming from a very different perspective um, why this stuff might make sense. So hopefully I'll, I'll hit at least a few of those uh, points. Um, so I'm Kevin Henney, um, and uh, I've got a stalking address and a spamming address there. Um, I've yeah, written some books, and uh, are these relevant? Uh, yeah, the one on the right's relevant. Um, 97 Things Every Programmer Should Know. This is a crowdsourced and open source book. Uh, very interesting things when I put out a call for submissions. Uh, I got, a, I got a, a ridiculous number on testing. Um, there's a very high proportion of uh, submissions on testing. I couldn't take them all. Um, but it, uh, it, was, it was interesting um, how that came out. And I'll refer to one or two of them a little bit later. Uh, now, this, uh, this is an interesting tweet I got from Kirk Pepperdine. Uh, he was one of the contributors to 97 Things. Um, uh, Kirk is a Java performance specialist, um, Canadian living in Hungary. Um, and he made an observation one day. He, he tweeted this one at me. Functionality is an asset. Code is a liability. Now, I found this absolutely fascinating and provocative because I spent the better part of my career convincing people that code is actually an asset. But he's right. He's dead right because what people want is the functionality. The code is somewhat annoying, the fact that there has to be code. But what he's saying is code is the liability, which means not that you don't care about it, but that you care about it very much. Because if it's a liability, you want less of it. You don't want loads of rubbish lying around. You don't want technical debt.